Hey friends. Um, I don't know. I just figured I should have an intro before my game. Video. Thing. The thing. This is off to a great start. Anyway, enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Howdy-ho! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who! Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. TM. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. TM. Ask about the Facetron 3000. TM. Aren't you the Sheriff of Reno? Aren't you the Sheriff of Reno? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're as different as peas who's in a pot of who. Plus, the Sheriff has that annoying Areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who. Sure. Whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the Pillow Factory fire? Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match -a who Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Gord, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Okay, well, I finished now. Fascinating stuff, I think we've heard enough. But I want to know... Did you use these computers to investigate the Pillow Factory fire? Pillow factory? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Why, why am I interested about the fire? Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> Uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. <laughs> Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Okay, two things to note. This game is in 1987. 
So imagine those computers in 1987. Also, this game was released in 2017, hence living in the future. Ray's to-do list. Find the murder weapon, fingerprint the murder weapon, get finger time report, find ID for the victim in hotel, get face time report, take a blood swab from the body, find suspicious item with blood on it, get blood drawn report, put the three reports into a restaurant, investigate the sewers. One of these things is not like the others. Bloodtron, blood. The coroner seems. I didn't want to say corona. The coroner seems nice enough. You should be helpful in solving this case as quickly as possible. The computing power of the Tron machines is impressive. I wonder why we'd never heard of them before and if they could help in figuring out what happened during the old pillow factory fire. What do you have to say on the subject? Ray's to-do list. Find the murder weapon, fingerprint the murder weapon, get fingerprint report, find ID for the victim in hotel, get face tron report, take a blood sweat from the body, find sufficient item with blood on it, get blood tron report, put three reports in a restaurant, investigate the sewers. The coroner is the sheriff of our idiots. That's okay, I can work with idiots. They are easy to manipulate. The Tron machines are interesting. I'm glad Ray's was a little eager beaver in his notes. I wonder if they are connected to the reason I'm here. That's written as if she doesn't know why she's here. That's very fascinating. I don't know if they did it on purpose. It's a medical skeleton. Ugh. Smells awful. It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. Ooh, it's mine now. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. That doesn't seem to close. Chewy Caramel Center. Ugh. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Shun by Sheriff Crook. Lots of medical books there. I've had enough chatting. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. You're also the coroner, right? You, I mean the coroner, is that something about the arrest run? What else do you know about the pillow factory fire 20 years ago? Okay, so it looks like they all have the same dialogue options we got. Regardless of who you're playing as, which is nice that we don't miss anything. Um. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Uh, yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by a computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry, Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck, who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Chuck who? Should we investigate Chuck as a suspect? You weren't listening to the blabbering from the corner, were you? 
<sighs> Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. Just a bunch of files. It's turned off. Wanted, Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Wanted, Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. So many oh, uh, if you can't read it, uh, the police radio is called the Police Tron 3000. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Standard city-issued desk, but with no drawers. to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. It's a bag full of plumber tools. No time to talk. We have to fix this slightly. Can I do anything to help? What caused the leak? I'd really like to explore A Street. Gotta go, I've got a move. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Pigeons need a WC-67. Cool. It's that gym. Close forever. says smart by electronics but it now says art and yelp in case that matters is that the same thing okay, it says just everywhere. it says we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. Fancy Schmancy Flowers is also closed. The SD Diner is open though. And I can always go down B Street or leave town. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, 
That article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about a dead body? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of a weird arena. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, this was before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Now option number two. I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. We're the Freds. We're the Freds? We're the Feds. You can trust us. What else do you know? And, again, the cor coroner and the sheriff are the same person. We're the Feds. You can trust us. What else do you know? Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Ransom the beeping clowns to beeping do list. Put on my clown nose, get my beeping joke book back, get my clown for looking beeping great, apply my beeping awesome clown makeup, go on stage and insult the beep out of those idiots. P.S. My life is amazing and beep you for being jealous. Alright then. Very cozy. My mage. It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Well, maybe the nose is a bit too big. Very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the Clown! My circus poster, featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, face. Walk the poster over secret safe. Secret is spelled S-E-K-R-I-T. It came off the wall. It's my closed safe where I keep all my money. That's a load of moolah. I can't push that. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan Ransom the clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. My housekeeper does a pretty good job of keeping this place clean. It came off the wall. Let's open that up. Let's pick up the money. Close the door. Put poster back up. Go see Carney Joe about getting my children. 
I'm not ready for my fans. My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup or nose. I better stick my nose on. Ouch! That's tight. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did you get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You! out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. Try your skill. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? One thousand clams or you're not getting your joke book back. It serves you right for playing the duckies. I have your beeping money, $1,000. I need my joke book The crowd's waiting for me. So how's the old ball and chain and kids? Beep you, I'm out of here, you beeper. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the five kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that scare you gave them. Five kids. I have your money. A thousand bucks. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my junk buck? Uh, wait, did you mess him with me? That's only a thousand dollars and you owe me eleven hundred and thirty-eight, including the interest. Eh, uh, thought you'd settle for less. Eh, uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full 1138 bucks. Now, beggar off. Win a fine leather jacket. Yeah. Come on over! It's an IOU. Ransom the clown lost a thousand dollars to me, Carney Joe, and I will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. That's not what it originally said. All right. Yeah, shoot the put. Oh, yeah. Is that a thing we can do? I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. Go yourself. It's my Ransom the Clown swear jar with 138 bucks in it. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. 
That doesn't seem to work. I just take the big bucks. My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. That's not gonna work. Win a fine leather jacket. You got my money ransom, the ass white clown. I have your money. A thousand bucks plus interest. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. Hey! It's my joke book. No spoilers here. You have to wait for my show for the jokes. No wait. Take a shot. Brush my hair. Put on the makeup, neither of which I know where. Ah. Oh. Walk to the dodge. That's not beeps. Now there's the face I love. Ooh, my cloud fro looks great now. Go on stage and insult the beef out of those idiots. Let's go. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. You guys beeping love that pillow factory. I was amazed you aren't a bunch of fatos. You're all a bunch of inbred freaks. Thimbleweed Park is full of beeping snobs. You guys are obsessed with this check guy. What's the deal with these beeping con machines? You're all a bunch of inbred freaks. Don't try to deny it, because I've seen the sheriff coroner and the hotel manager. The low IQ, the weird speech patterns, the same ugly face. If that ain't just one weirdo, somebody definitely their sister. New option. You beeps read that rag the nickels. What's the deal with all these Tron machines? That's some great priorities you got there. Yeah, well, you can't cure cancer or help the blind see, but at least you don't have to wipe your own asses thanks to the Toiletron 3000! Hey you, lady with the huge nose. Hey you, dude with the stew mustache. Hey you, kid with the crappy wheelchair. Hey you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. New option. Hey, you ugly old lady with the hearing aid. Hey, you lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. New option. Hey, you kid of the ugly shirt. Hey, you kid with the ugly shirt. Are you colorblind? Your shirt is about to give me a seizure. I mean, I'm a clown, and even I wouldn't touch something that garish. 
Hey you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Cause if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet and go see my mistress Cindy in Aspen. Yeah. What the? F this makeup isn't coming off. No. You, old lady! You up the you Come on! As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old... My lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little... Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you... Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. Go talk to Ransom the Clown. Ah, delicious! I can't wait to eat one. It's turned off. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. The government is brainwashing you with secret transmissions. We just don't know where they are coming from. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Hot dogs, burgers, salad, pies, Schweinhaxe, that's about it. What can I do for you, honey? The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. Thanks for your help. We'll be back if we have any more questions. Anytime. Thimblecon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. There's an arm and a leg in that box. I'm gonna pretend it's a mannequin. It's just a stack of empty boxes. Didn't see that one coming. Probably should, but I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> 